Okay, I'm starting where I left off. So this is my wall, the CD rack, okay, that you put up on the wall. It's plastic and it's very sturdy and it, it's actually very cheap. It comes in four and I believe it's less than $20 for four. So uh, I got this in Amazon. I don't exactly remember the name of it, but it is a CD wall rack. It's plastic, so what I did was I inverted it, okay, and then I put in all of my ink pads in there, and it is sturdy, as you can see. You take it out, and you put it right back in, and it's such an easier system. I had done another system after this one, and it didn't work out for me, and uh, so I figured, okay, I'm going to bring back the oldies because these worked out for me. Um, you know how we do it. We change sometimes and then we realize what really worked for us. Um, I had made all this, all the shelving, all the shelving, all the shelving, and I made it out of um, cardboard. <clears throat> Is it cardboard? No. Um, poster board, the foam core, foam boards. So that's what I made this uh, out of. I used to have this down on the floor, but apparently I didn't really look on the down on the floor. So I, I, it, I guess I'm lazy. So let's see if I look up, okay? Because if I look up, I'll, I'll see all these wonderful things. Well, we'll try it out. Okay, so um, there I have my my dew drops. I uh, made all these things, my dew drops, my color block, and my Tim Holtz stains. And it's really simple. I just, it's, it's, a, it's really easy to make, really. And then I have little areas. You could see how many pieces it took because I used up all my pieces. So uh, I put them all together and it, it, it works fine. I haven't finished um, putting everything in there. I'm trying to get everything in one area for me because that's how I like it. This is the table that I'm going to use for my Cricut and uh, maybe some stamping or something like that, I don't know, but mostly to lay out um, uh, my color scheme or what I want to put on a project or altar or mixed media. I'm probably going to lay it right there on the table so I could think about it and figure it out. Then um, this table is going to be for a little simple tiny cutting and uh, definitely um, the hot the heat gun because this is glass and it's heat resistant and uh, right there I have my ATG right there you see a cord that cord goes to the glue gun you see all my jewelry tools there okay and inside here, I keep all of my, and there is my little power tool, I have nails, I have a whole bunch of stuff in here that I can use for altering boxes and wooden boxes, and crocodiles in there. Over here, I basically have, I made this here, and I wasn't sure exactly what to do with it, and I'm not really going to leave those acrylic bottles there. Um, I have too many of them, and I don't really want to use up this whole space for just acrylics. This is my Xyron printer, the one that you go along the surface of the paper, and then it'll print whatever you typed in there. And um, down here I have the melting pot. Right here I have um, all my wires. This drawer isn't organized completely, so... Down here I have some more tools because I am the go-to lady for the tools. Honey, where'd you put this? Honey, where's this? And if I don't put it away, and in my area, it's going to be lost in the garage. Over here, <clears throat> I have washi tapes. So I threw all my washi tapes in there. Um, here, I haven't finished organizing. Here, I, I'm supposed to start organizing this. And I'm going to put all my little 
jump jewelry and stuff like that. Jump rings and so on. I also use this for the twinkling. I forgot the twinkling H2O's. I have my little needles there when I need it. The little pins. And this is a Lindsay stamp gang. And I believe the top one is, yeah, Perfect Pearls. Okay. So I have them all here in hand, ready to use. So down here, this is a mess, but that table you see down there, it rolls out. So if I want to roll it out and have some space on it, I don't know why I would, but it for me, I think it's convenient to have it roll out just in case I do one of these stupid things again of uh, organizing, re redoing my room again. <laughs> okay, so here's the desk, and I put all my stamping stuff here. Okay, now let's go over here. And... Down here, I have all my watercolors, anything that has to do with painting, simple drawing, so on. Down there is my my whole box that has to do, which, by the way, if you haven't seen my other videos, you know, why not? It doesn't matter. I have a mess here anyhow. So, I don't know if you've ever seen this, but these open up. Like this. It's the cosmetics. You can buy it in, in Walmart. See? And then you just open it up like this. Isn't this cool? Okay. So I basically have all my trinkets and stuff like that for steampunk. This is, That's the main style I really love is steampunk. Okay. So down there now you know. And this rolls out also. Um... Here, I, I really love this mod, mod, mod podge, mod podge. Uh, it, nothing sticks to it. I so love it. And that's where I do my, my gluing. It's fantastic. And then here I could also cut. This mat is fantastic. And it's I like the fact that it's see-through. And you can cut on it and everything. It's an industrial kind of mat. I got that on Amazon. Everything, if you want to ask me where I got everything, Amazon. Everything Amazon. <laughs> okay, so this is cork board, cork panel. Okay, this whole part right here is all cork panel, but because Velcro does not stick to um, the cork panel, what I ended up doing was um, I put Gorilla. Oh God, the boys back there. Oh God. <laughs> Someone let the elephant out. Uh oh. So, all the boys are giggling back there. Oh, my husband's making everybody shut up. <laughs> you gotta love it. Real life. All right. So here I have gorilla tape, duct tape. Now, I'm guessing gorilla tape is much more stronger than regular black duct tape. Okay. No, no. Don't start. Don't start. All right, I already know what happened, guys. You don't have to tell me twice. And I don't want to hear it. It's gross. <laughs> okay, so here I put Gorilla Tape. And it is very strong. And it, what it does is it reinforces the Velcro. Because it, it adheres really easy to the Velcro. And then um, it, it doesn't come off of the cork, the cork board. And it, you want to hear this? See, it, it really is. It's a little hard to put in, but, um, and it's really, really great. It's fantastic. And yeah, everything is Velcro here. I mean, my whole wall is Velcroed except for down here because I got to tell you, this Velcro costs a lot of money. So I'm going to be putting here anything that I want to, I actually like to put things there that are really pretty and I have to use, which is bad. I haven't been using a lot of my stuff. I painted this, spray painted it. I love the color. I love dark colors because every other color stands out, as you can see. Over here is going to be my inspiration board in my family. I put it up, I actually put it up with all my washi tapes. Good use. And it's happy and colorful. Okay. Up there is where I'm going to put my fibers. Well, just a little bit, not all of them. I, I kind of like the colors. Now, right here, oh, geez, 
Uh, Shane, can you bring my iPad, please? Okay. You can see the wire here. I put the, I know you can see my walls. They have holes all over it, but that's okay because I'm going to fix it now that I'm done doing this part of the wall. So, um, I ran 